Hello there, it's Anna here and welcome to Little Crochet Farm. Today we will work together this chubby penguin. Hello! He is one more character of this uh, Christmas special ornaments and he is also one more of the chubby animals of many animals already available here in this YouTube channel. A quick look here of this uh, other characters from this Christmas ornaments and there are four more that you can check it out. The link in the description below will take you to the complete written pattern for this penguin, all right? Let's start crocheting this. Super good. We will start here with a magic ring or a magic circle. If this video is too fast for you, check out the links in the description below here this video. There is a tutorial for each technique and stitches I use for the patterns, all right? Inside the magic ring, you will crochet six single crochet. So here, I'm working the six single crochet. The written pattern for this penguin, it's in the description also below. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's pull this tail tight, close the magic ring, and move on for the round number two. For the second round here, you work six increases. This means you will, uh, when I say increase, means you will work two single crochet inside each stitch, okay? So this is my first increase. Here is my second. And like this, you continue in all of the six stitches of this round. I will move a bit fast here. That's super good. I want to show you here that I like to double secure the beginning of my thread. And how I do this is I introduce in the tapestry needle and I wave in inside the first round of the toy. And you can see the magic ring is very tight and closed. Now I will add my stitch marker. Here I just use a different color yarn. And move on for the round number three. You will work one single crochet, one increase, repeat six times, and you should have a total of 18 stitches at the end of this round. So this is my first repetition. One single crochet here, this is my increase. Repeat all the way until the end. And that's how it should be looking like. Now for the fourth round, you work two single crochet, one increase, repeat six times, and you should have a total of 24 stitches at the end of this round, okay? So here is my increase. And I show you here, one, two, and this is the increase. Repeat all the way until the end. And let's move on for round number five. Here you work three single crochet, one increase, repeat six times, and you should have a total of 30 stitches at the end of this round. So let's work here the first repetition together. All right, one, two, three, and increase. Super good. This is how it should be looking like. Now moving on for round number six, you'll work four single crochet, one increase, Repeat six times and you should have a total of 36 stitches at the end of this round. Okay, so repeat all the way around. And now let's move on for round number seven. Here you'll work five single crochet, one increase, repeat six times and you should have a total of 42 stitches at the end of this round. So let's work here first repetition together. Now I'm going to work my first increase. Okay, repeat all the way until the end. And that's your result. Now you will work here a couple of rounds, just single crochet without increase or decreases. So for round 8 to 16, you will work 42 single crochet. Okay. So stop your videos here, work all your rounds, and I will catch you up at the end of round 16. Look, this is great.
this is the size we are searching for, this chubby penguin. So here's the increases, and then you have round number 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay? Now let's move on for round number 17. We will start working decreases, all right? So you will work five single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times, and you should have 36 stitches at the end of this round. For amigurumi crochet toys, we work invisible decrease, okay? That means you grab the front loop only of the next two stitches and you crochet your single crochet. If you don't know how to make this or if it's too fast for you, check the links in the description of this video. All right, now let's move on for round number 18. You will work four single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times, and you should have a total of 30 stitches here at the end of this round. So here working the first repetition with you. Okay. So you repeat all the way until the end. And let's move on for round number 19. Here you will work three single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times, and you should have 24 stitches at the end of the round. Count how many stitches you have at the end of every round. This is a very nice tip. It's practical, it's easier, and it's better to know that you are right on track. All right, let's move on now for round number 12, 20. You will work two single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times, and you should have 18 stitches at the end of this round. So we are almost at the end of the chubby body. Super good, repeat all the way around. And we have some shape here. I will stop fast to add stuffing material. So you can stop here and add as much as you want, as stuffed you want, your chubby penguin. And I will catch you up once I'm done. That's great. And let's move on now for our last round. Here for round number 21, you will work one single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times, and you should have a total of 12 stitches at the end of this round. All right, so I work here the first repetition with you, work all the way around, and I will catch you up so we can fasten this off. Okay, once you're left with 12 stitches, you can cut this thread, leaving a little bit of tail so we can fasten this off. You add here in a tapestry needle, and now what you're going to do is you will grab the front loop only of the stitches. Okay, so here the front loop. Here the front loop, only the front loop of the stitches. You don't need to pull it right now, you can pull it at the end. Just pay attention for you not to grab the yarn in the middle of the plies, because then for you to close it later will be a bit harder. Let me just organize here my stuffing material. Once you grab all the 12, pull it tight. Okay? You see it's nice and closed, but we want this to be very very nice and closed. <laughs> so we will just double secure here like we do in the beginning. So you put this inside of the last round, you grab the last stitches of this round. Now it looks very nice and we wave in this tail inside of the toy because it's always nice to secure very nicely the ending of these tails, okay? All right, so this is the body of our chubby penguin, okay? Now let's move on here and let's work the paws, uh, let's say like this, the arms of this penguin, okay? <laughs> we will start with the magic ring again, but this time we will work four single crochet inside this magic ring, all right? So let's go here slow. It's a very tiny detail and super fast to work. So we will work here together. So this is my third single crochet and fourth. One, two, three, four. Okay. Pull tight. 
to close this magic ring. And let's move on now for round number two. You will work one increase, one single crochet, and you repeat this two times, all right? You'll have six single crochet here at the end. So let's start here with the first stitch, one increase. Okay, and one single crochet. First repetition is done. Second one, one increase here. And one single crochet. All right, so pull this tight, close the magic ring, and let's organize our stitches here because you see it's very tight and it's curling to the outside. All right, so this is nice and organized for me. Super good. Now let's move on to the third round. So you work here one increase and two single crochet. Repeat two times and you should have eight stitches here at the end of this round. So let's work together. One single crochet here and another one because it's an increase. Okay, move on. We work one single crochet and the next one, one single crochet. So first repetition is done. Now let's work the second repetition. One increase here. And one single crochet and another one. And we are done with this round. All right. Now for the round number four, you will work eight single crochet and that's it. Okay. So let's work here this eight single crochet. Super easy. And I will move a little bit faster here because it's just eight single crochet. You see, I'm not using here stitch marker, but please, by all means, if, if you are, you know, doing a lot of things on the same time and you're not uh, concentrated on your piece, just put um, stitch marker, okay? To help, it will be easier for you. All right, so for the third, for the fifth round here, we will crochet four single cro crochet. So we are crocheting the sides together, closing this arm. So you have eight single crochet in total. You fold this in half. You have four in one side, four in the other side, and we crochet this together. Okay, this is one. This first stitch is a bit tricky because they are very close together, the first and the last, but after that, it's piece of cake. Super good, this is my third and the last one here. All right, that's super good. Now let's cut this yarn. You leave a little bit of tail for sewing later. And like this one, you make another one, okay? Ta-da! Super good. Now let's start the feet of our chubby penguin. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay, we'll start again with the magic ring. And we will work six single crochet inside the magic ring. You know, in the community tab, when I ask you guys which uh, Christmas ornaments you want, the gingerbread man won. But I wanted so much that the penguin won, but he didn't came close, but then I have to do it also. One, two, three, four, five, six. And, you know, I just squished some time and I made it. And I'm happy I did because he looks very cute. All right, let's move on for the second round. You work here six increases. So, 12 single crochet at the end. You already know this, we did this a couple of times. So make one increase in each stitch here, and I'll catch you up for the round number three. Great, look at this, very nice. Remember to double secure the beginning of the thread here, right? I didn't shoot, uh, I forgot to, to shoot it, but do it. All right, so for the third round, it's a bit different. You will work five single crochet, one increase, okay? 
So we are increasing here just two stitches and you should have 14 stitches at the end of the round. Remember to count how many stitches you have. This is my first repetition and add your stitch marker. Don't live dangerously like me. Now I add mine. So for round four to six, you will work 14 single, single crochet. So very simple and easy. I'm short in breath if you haven't noticed, but I think, of course, you did. This pregnancy makes me short in breath. All right, so for round number seven, you work five single crochet, one decrease, repeat two times, and you should have 12 stitches at the end of this round. So here we'll work one round with decrease, so we'll have the 12 stitches back here. So this is my first repetition and my first decrease. Now work your second repetition here. And you should have now 12 stitches. For the round number eight, you will work 12 stitches. Simple huh? and easy. So work here and I will catch you up for the last round. Here for the last round, we will work same way we did with the hands, arms or paws, I don't know. Fold in half, so you have 12 stitches. When you fold in half, you have six on each side. And we will crochet the sides together, closing this. And just, I forgot to mention, but you can see, you don't need to add stuffing materials because we want it, the details to be flat, all right? So the first one, as I mentioned, it's a bit tricky because they are side by side together, but after that, it's completely fine. So this is my second one. And the third. Fourth. Fifth. And we have here now the last one. Okay. This is super good. Look at this. Yay! Now you can cut this yarn, you leave a little bit of tail for sewing. Okay, look at this. Super good. And like this one, you make another one, of course. And I have it here, somewhere. Yeah! Very good. And now here, for the cover detail, you will repeat rounds 1 to 7 from the body. Okay? So you remember the body here we work in the beginning of this video. So round one to seven, you work exactly the same as the body. All right. I will not going to repeat here because it's easier. You already have done.